Hey everybody, today we're gonna to talk about a portable power station by Viver. This is, wait, my, my phone's gonna die. I gotta open this up and charge my phone. Hold on, I'll be right back. So let's talk about this little beast, as I like to call it, because it's pretty awesome. Um, I've had this thing actually for a few months, and I've used it several times over that time period. Um, I'm going to tell you how I use it and other things that I think you can use it for. Um, but let's talk about this right here. Here's your USB connections right here. Uh, here's your DC input. Um, this is where you're going to charge like your car, uh, solar. This is a 12 volt to 24. You got your two 110s, uh, 300 watt max right here. You got your um, DC power plug right there. You got uh, 10 amp um, DC output right here. Um, you got a cool light on the side here. Let me, let's, you hold it in for about three seconds. It'll power on just like that. It's showing 100%, 99 hours uh, with nothing currently on there. You got a light on the side here. Super bright. Little SOS light there. That's pretty cool. Um, so let me tell you what, how I, this thing powers our laptop, our mixing board, charges our phones for the entire game with no issues. Um, I can't remember. We maybe got it down to 75% by the end of the game, charging all that stuff. Um, that's what I love about this. It, it does come with, here's your charger. Well, these two combined charge it at home. You got a car charger here. And like I said, they do offer a solar panel um, that I will link in the description as long as the, as well as the cables that hook it up. So let's talk about a few different things that um, I think you could use it for. Like I said, I use it for broadcasting, uh, laptops, pho charging phones, uh, mixing board for broadcasting. But this thing I think is great for emergencies. You lose power, you can charge your phones, you can power your computer, you can power fans. A small fan on it for a while um, it's got the the light on there you can light up a whole room with your family in it and, you know take down to the cellar with you right here this thing is awesome you put this in a closet you get a tornado siren you got to run it out of the cellar or you leave it in the cellar if you want to uh, camping um, people with CPAP machines if you lose power in the middle of the night this thing will run your CPAP for several several hours uh, enough for you to sleep on uh, let's say you're doing some work out in the yard and you need a power tool and you don't have an extension cord, take this out there with you and you can plug the power tool right into this thing and it'll uh, fire it up for you, no problem. Let's take this bad boy in the house and plug some things into it and uh, we'll show you what kind of juice it uses. Okay, as you can see, I have a whole plethora of things here that we're gonna put a load on it and see what it does. So let's go ahead and fire it up first. Again, hold it for a few seconds. It's gonna power up, you get 100% right there. We're gonna hit the USB button. That's gonna power the USB. We're gonna plug my iPad on. It is now charging, showing 18 watts, showing 19 watts that'll charge for, it'll power on for 16 hours at that at 19 watts. So let's add a cell phone. If I can get it right, okay. Cell phone's on, there we go. So we got two things. We got 22 watts, 28 watts, uh, 11 hours. Okay, let's try this laptop. Something a little heavier duty. Okay, power that button on. AC. Get the laptop on. It's gonna show up to 13 watts, 40 watts. There we go. So the laptop alone, seven hours. Um, pulling 40 watts. So that, that's pretty good time. So anything that's gonna pull that kind of wattage, six, seven hours, right around that. Um, that's a pretty good deal. Okay, so let's say you lose power in the middle of the night. Well, let's try this fan back here. That fan is gonna pull, give it time to adjust, 30 watts, nine hours. So if you lose power, 
and it's you're in Florida or te South Texas and it's really hot, you're gonna need a fan in the middle of the night, right? You got nine hours. You're gonna get through the night with a little fan on. Let's uh, let's go ahead and charge our tablet or phone while we're doing that at the same time. It's gonna pull probably close to okay, 53 watts. Five went from seven to five. Five hours. That's charging a device. If you don't really need to charge that device, again, your fan alone. That's pretty good. Nine hours. Well, I hope you learned a little something about uh, portable power stations and how awesome they are. Um, I love this. Uh, Viva Las Vegas. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Viva has been very, very good to me. Viva has sent me several products over this past year to test out. Um, I got a, um, a sand filter for my pool that did awesome all, all pool season long. Um, a water transfer pump that I used to pull water off the tarp of my pool when it rains real bad. <laughs> um, a... Uh, an electric power washer that is super strong and we're in very durable. Um, they have really good products at excellent prices compared to most. So uh, thank you to Viver uh, for letting me uh, review this product. It is an awesome product. Definitely something you can use for your family in emergencies, uh, many other things too. So um, if you like this video, I appreciate uh, a little thumbs up like there. Uh, you can leave a comment, ask me any question you have on this product. Um, got some more videos coming out. Pool season's coming out soon and, uh, might be putting a new pool in this year. So I'll, I'll bring you along for that journey. So I appreciate your time watching this video guys. Thank you.